<laughs> Jen, talk to me about Heinz and Kraft. Uh, was this a surprise? Warren Buffett usually buys for decades, he invests for decades, and yet he bought Heinz two years ago, and now this. It's not a surprise because what uh, Warren Buffett has been doing of late is he's been partnering with a private equity firm. Um, his 3G Capital. 3G Capital, which together with Warren Buffett is buying, uh, is buying Kraft via Heinz. Right. Uh, it's a complicated deal because uh, 3G and Warren Buffett will together control 51% of the company, but the company Kraft Heinz will remain public. Um, what is interesting about what Warren is doing is that he is working with a company that is kind of known for slashing costs, um, really radical changes. He you was, wrote about this. You wrote a fantastic piece about Heinz and about how 3G literally came in and, and, and slashed so much, mm -hmm. even... You know, it's the kind of company that watches what people print. I mean, there is great detail on that. But yes. is this what's going to happen then? Oh, absolutely. This is what's going to happen. If you get more than 100 business cards and you're executive at Kraft, um, you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> um, I would also suggest, too, that most of the top management team probably get their resumes in order because another thing that 3G has done traditionally is that they replace almost the entire top team. Oh, gosh. And, Aaron, the thing about this deal that strikes me is that food trends seem to be going in the direction of healthy, organic, natural, everything, and away from processed foods. And yet this is combining two processed food makers. Is that right? Right. This, um, this is definitely not the trend that you see on the food network. You know, it's all about local and organic and whole foods. You know, we've written, Fortune has done huge stories about how whole foods is taking over America. But at the same time, these are still massive businesses and massive industries. So maybe, you know, in urban areas, people are becoming more interested in getting back to the roots. But I think in the middle of the country, these brands still kind of reign.